Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Super Fantify. This being a show where we talk about TV shows of the supernatural, fantasy, and or science fictional genre. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Pandora. A lot of interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Well, first and foremost, let's focus on... Um Jack's side of things in this episode first. Uh, well, the fact of the matter is, Shrawl gives her a mission, but this mission also comes from Osborne. Basically, he's always had a connection with this Sumi princess named um, Aleka, and so now it's up to Jax to kind of fill that role, to kind of get information uh, from her. I, I was thinking it was interesting because Shrawl was like, oh, I want you to come in here. I thought it would be about what we found out last episode, that he was the reason why New Portland ended up getting attacked because they were looking for Jax. So I thought that's what it was going to be about, but it turns out not to be the case. I'm curious, will he ever tell her the truth or not? Maybe, maybe when the time comes, it probably won't be until like he's nearing his deathbed or something like that. We'll see. But um, yeah, um, which Jax in this episode too, she also has the whole thing with Zazie because Zazie's like, oh, every time I try to like get close to you, kind of push me away. And I, but it makes sense with, you know, everything that she does is so top secret. Plus like what her situation is. Does, isn't, you know, the only people that are really involved are the people that she is close to or they're kind of mixed up in all of this. So, but I think someone from the outside, you know, even if, you know, because Zazie's like, oh, do you not like me or something? It's like, no, you are, I do like you. It's just, you know, it's like everything that's going on. She keeps it simply like as like all the situation with her and Xander being a complicated thing, but obviously not going too into it. But it's kind of like, you know what? I am going to need a friend. So she has um, Zazie come along. And obviously that kind of leads to the whole uh, Princess Aleka situation, which immediately Aleka kind of, you know, immediately is like, oh, find, you know, Jax interesting. Because I guess, because she only later on refers to her as someone who works with Osborne, so she doesn't know the familial connection that that's actually her uncle. Uh, but nevertheless... It was really interesting because we, you know, spending time with Aleka, we did kind of learn more about the Sumi culture in that, like, obviously, like, the husbands are, like, because in that world, like, in their, of their culture in their world, it's like the men have all the power and, like, women are just kind of, like, they basically have to fight for, you know, meaningless rewards because basically a uh, person will have multiple wives and basically it's almost like a survival of the fittest. The second wife kills the first wife. The third wife most likely kills the second wife. So it's this whole thing in their culture of, like, never showing your back to anyone because in that it's a very, like, cutthroat, at least amongst women. And not, it wasn't always like that, but, but I mean, it shouldn't be like that, but that's the way their culture is set up. So it's kind of like, because it's like, if you don't go along with it, you, she said you'd be a corpse sooner or later anyway. So I guess, I guess if you don't kind of go along with things, you die. You go along with things, you die. So it's a whole thing. But obviously for, you know, because Aleka's main thing is she believes, like, by resolving a lot, like, the reason why she works with Osborne is because she thinks through cooperation that they can reach peace, and she kind of wants, you know, the galaxy to kind of be filled with peace, so, like, every race out there could, you know, ultimately live in peace together, and obviously Jack, she's like, oh, you think I'm naive, but Jack is like, no, like, I, I would like to believe that, too, I mean, that's what she's trying to prove to the ancient ones anyway, you know, so that the rest of the universe can be spared. So meeting someone who's very like-minded, who believes in what she believes, which that belief will be something that could uh, be the very foundation of saving this universe from, you know, the um, ancients. But, um, and immediately as they're spending time together, I'm like, is there something going on? I mean, because obviously like her and, you know, Xander aren't in the best place right now. I'm like, is something going to happen? And there's hints to it. But then it's like, you know, She's like, no, I'm with, you know, um, Jax is like, yeah, I'm with someone. But obviously it's the whole thing of like, also learning that, you know, for Aleka is she wants to change their culture, that women don't have to be against each other, that we can, you know, even if she might die, but at the very least she wants to at least believe that everything can work out, that she can, you know, create a revolution, that she can change the way that women, instead of stabbing each other in the back, like not just in a figurative, figurative, figurative means in a literal means in this case she thinks that maybe they could all work together and kind of change the way the culture of their people works in that regard so obviously some of them end up um, the guards that were there ended up stopping Jax and trying to torture her for information because they found out she was a spy and it's like well, because it's also because she, because they found out about uh, Jack's situation, but obviously they weren't aware that, obviously, um, weren't aware that uh, Alica was the, um, 
Aleka was the one that was also feeding information. So it's like, uh, but obviously Aleka cares for uh, for um, Jack. So she ends up working with um, Zazie to save her. You know, so. And I, I thought it was kind of neat, you know, because obviously because going with her marriage, getting the tattoo and everything, um, she was making it clear. Like, she's like, I will never show my back to anyone else again because obviously fear of, you know, a knife being in it. Because obviously, like I said, their their culture kind of makes you, you have to be wary of, like, the other wives. Rather than you being a team, it's just like I said, you always have to be suspicious of each other, that whole thing. But um, Aleka says that she considers Jax, you know, a... A sister and I, I show my back to you so I thought that was kind of pretty neat like obviously Jax gained a friend and ally kind of a sister out of this hopefully you know she does because even she's like yeah because the whole thing is like your wedding dress might also be your funeral jet dress kind of basically it's like yeah that's what my dad will say to me when he gives me away to my husband but it's like you know hopefully things don't work out like hopefully you know she is able to change things because it would suck for Jax to kind of have to lose another person you know so but then she also says something interesting. She was like, your friend Zazzy, I wouldn't trust her if I were you. I wouldn't show her my back. And it turns out the reason why, because she had said like, yeah, like um, there was some stuff going on and that her people were like doing stuff, uh, waiting for like Earth to like move away from certain places so they can kind of take them over or something like that. It's, it's some, like pirating stuff. And um, she was like, we have, I don't know who it is, but we do have a source on Earth. Um, and it turns out, um, one of the, it turns out like, you know, Zazzy is actually working with Tierney and Eve. Once again, I, cause Eve was making it seem like everything was under control and everything, which just makes this whole thing even more complicated. Obviously Eve being, you know, Jackson's mom, Tierney being her sister, but actually like basically her sister, even though they're not actually blood related, much like her and her mom, obviously. But, um, because Tierney being Eve's actual daughter. Um, but aside from all that, it's just like Zabzi working with them. It makes you want, she's like, oh, like, because Zabzi seems like she's neck deep in all this. So, you know, it's kind of sad because, like, Jax has had to deal with that in the past. People being around her and being a lot, obviously, like, the whole Raylan thing. He kind of lied and everything last season. So, obviously, it's almost a repeat to that. But it's a different situation because, obviously, Tierney and Eve have their own plans. And, you know, it's like, you know, what is, you know, Zabzi's part in that? Why does she, um... Why is she a part of this? You know, questions like that. We'll ultimately have to wait and see. But uh, because of what Aleka said, uh, Zach, uh, Jax will be a little weary of her. But, you know, it's sad because they actually became closer this episode just for it to be like, oh. Uh, and it kind of makes sense why she's trying so hard. You know, it's so interesting because obviously the earlier parts of this season made it seem like Jet was the super suspicious one. And I still think he is. But the fact is for it to actually end up being Zazzy, I thought that was kind of a nice twist where it's like, oh, you know. No one is quite who you think they are. I mean, to be fair, Tierney, I mean, she was kind of slimy the moment we met her anyway. Like, especially the first episode episode we got introduced to her last season. But, you know, obviously she turns out to be so much more as the, you know, series is going on. So, on the other side of the episode, we have Jet telling Xander about the whole Raylan thing. And obviously, like, Xander doesn't want... I guess Jax more so than anyone to know because it's like whatever this is they'll do it because it's like we'll be the ones to bring Raylan back because I guess Jax has so much on her mind right now it's actually interesting because I didn't even talk about it but it's like before Jax met Aleka it ended up being like she ended up having a vision it's like oh I guess there's a reason why they brought you to me and it's like oh your uncle she's like no I'm not talking about Osborne not Osborne she's thinking obviously like you know, that meeting was necessary, I guess, for whatever path it is next for Jax with all of this. I guess that, that was kind of the whole point. Um, a potential, like I said, the whole ally situation. But like I said, circling back to what I was talking about. So Jet and Xander end up going to uh, Las Venus. And they're, you know, obviously it's a very shady place because obviously the opening shows us, you know, Z uh, Raylan in kind of like a fight club type of situation. Well, not necessarily a fight club, but like a, 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 an arena um, fighting. 
Uh, but then I thought was another twist to this episode. Running into Greg, I didn't expect that. Well, for one, because we, like, because they talk about it, but we never saw it. Because obviously he pops up in the season finale. And it's like where he went after that, we never found out. But we kind of find finally find out now, like, why he ended up leaving and what his whole situation is. It turns out he had got addicted. Like, after everything went down, he eventually got addicted to this drug. Uh, what was it, like, uh Ryodine, Ryodine, and basically it was it basically makes you mad aggressive, but it's also super addictive. And obviously, like he didn't want to be around Jax. It's like I don't want to ruin her perfect life. With Xander was like her perfect her life isn't what you think it is, it isn't as perfect as you think it is. Obviously, she could use your help, so you need to come back. But obviously, it's the thing of Greg is kind of a little agitated because he's like, you know, what was it all for? You know, she left me. It's like, no, she didn't. You, I mean, even I was about to say, no, she didn't. You pushed her to leave you. You sacrificed yourself. You know, he's like, what did it get me at the end of the day? Nothing, you know? And so basically, he's been here on Las Venus trying to find a cure for it. Um, and obviously, Xander wants to drag him back. But obviously, you know, Greg's like, no, I'm going to stay here. And if you try to drag me away, like, try to keep staying here, the fact is these fighters are going to get involved. I also love that a running thing in this entire episode, shut up, Jet. Uh, this poor Jet is the Meg, the family guy, Meg Griffin of this uh, show. Just everyone just telling him to shut up. And in particular, Xander constantly telling him to shut up, you know? But um, obviously... We end up finding out that Raylan is the fighter because obviously um, they end up telling, you know, Greg why they're here. And it's like, why would Raylan be here? He's like, yeah, because his wife died, which obviously Greg's missed out on a lot because obviously, like, he wasn't around for most of last season. So, but I kind of hearing all about that, you know, Xander's like, could you at least, you know, you're not going to help help us with you at the very least help us with the whole Raylan situation. So... Luckily, they were able to, because obviously it's, there's a, a sponsorship to the fight, so it's like companies or groups or whatever can basically uh, have a contract for you, and if you basically try to leave before that contract's done, basically, I think they're, basically your head explodes. Uh, very, very Suicide Squad-ish um, of it all, but um, when it's all said and done, Raylan doesn't want to leave, you know, and he's like, he appreciates what Jet and um, Xander trying to do, but he's like, no, which is like, you know, because obviously Xander's trying to talk to him. But he's like, you cannot understand my pain. It's like, it's interesting because obviously we dived a little deep into Xander's situation. I mean, it's a different situation, but he lost his brother because it's like, you're not the only one that's had loss, but I guess it's a little different because it, it, it comes from a place that, you know, um, Raylan just has so many regrets, you know, I and mean, I think that's always the thing, you always, you always want that more time, you always, there's so much you left unsaid, there's so much you wish you had done differently, you know, and, and those regrets will always kind of weigh heaviest on you, you know, and I think that's kind of where that, you know, whole situation ends up coming into play with Raylan, to the point that he was here immediately, like, even at that point, I was thinking, like, you came here as a, you want to, you want to feel something, you want pain, you know, so, obviously, he does decent against uh, Lieutenant Collins, but then Collins kind of gets the upper hand. Um, I thought it was kind of very, because I was expecting him to kind of fully get washed in a fight, but it's like, no, Raylan at one point kind of like breaks his armor, dislocates or whatever, but obviously he then gets the upper hand and, you know, starts ready to kill Raylan. Luckily, Xander and others got involved, uh, but it turns out they can't help Raylan because he's already been sold off to lo and behold his dad's there because his dad's like oh I want you to go into that match tomorrow because I know you're going to lose and I want you to lose because I want you to die which is so effed up that your own I mean to be fair we saw kind of who his dad was last season but it's like obviously you know the conversation comes up between you know Raylan and Greg about like why did you why is your dad want you it's like yeah because he feels like I betrayed the Zatarians when I helped the humans so you know obviously that's why him and Mata couldn't go back to Zatar and obviously the current situation Situation didn't stop anything and uh, you know it's it's sad that a father would be so willing to be like oh yeah you're you, you know you need to you know let that happen you know so you know and obviously Greg you know with his current situation talks about the fact is that you know he calls his situation running away and he says that Raylan isn't you know Raylan's situation isn't the same it's like you're running towards something death you're trying to find he's like oh you think I'm here to die it's like I don't know if that's your main objective but it will be the end result you know and it's like I think Raylan was looking for that and it's like he's like and obviously for Greg it's like I didn't know Mata but do you think she would want your story to kind of end like this and that's the thing it's just like that sadness and that you know regret is swallowing him that you know 
maybe he did start off here maybe wanting just to fight just to feel something just not have to not be tied bound to the past not have to be you know do anything that doesn't make him think about modern or have to feel the way he does or maybe he his sole purpose to come here was to die i mean that's why he told no one to look for him because he's like yeah you don't need to know what happened to me i was actually kind of surprised that we got this Raylan story like immediately after because i thought it'd be like maybe a couple episodes down the road we end up finding out what he's been up to where he's at uh once again i was completely surprised by the Greg thing i did thought it was pretty dope though obviously jets like celebrate because like there are uh, the drugs he was able to like find a potential cure for it. and he's like I'm a genius I'm amazing let's go celebrate you know with drinks and everything because obviously a key component to this was also like the alcohol or whatever but obviously they get a little drunk and I love him being like wait so all three of you have been in love with uh, Jackson it's like when you th I didn't think about it to that moment but I knew about, I, th I guess in my head I was thinking like oh yeah Xander and um Xander and uh, Greg, but then obviously Raylan's in that too, and I'm like, oh yeah, it is kind of awkward all three of you being there. And so they basically drunk dial her, and everyone's there. And obviously she's like so happy to see Greg. Hey Raylan, hey, Xander, why are you with Raylan and uh, Greg? Why is why is Jet there? But it's like all of you, you mean a lot to me. The fact of the matter is, I need you all here with me right now. I mean, well, except for Jet. And he's like, wow, that was unnecessary, you know. Um, but it did seem like maybe they were making their way to, you know, repairing things between Xander and her. I mean, it's still complicated. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not just where they, I mean, it's also like, well, once again, you still ended up killing that Pandora. And obviously, that's still a fear of hers, and, you know, obviously because of the last episode. So, it's still there in the back of her mind. But, um, yeah. Um, obviously, they were able to cure uh, Collins, and he was able to kind of revert back to himself. But even him being like, I'm sorry, you know, for the things I did during the war, like, to your people. So, because obviously for him, he's, like, now able to see with clear eyes because he was kind of caught in a mist of a haze of anger for so long because of the drug and everything. But now he's kind of clear-minded. But it's still a thing of they need to fight. And even, it's like, your dad wouldn't actually want you to die, would he? Would he? And it's like, yeah, he would. And so Xander's like, you're going to have to kill me in the fight. And so, I'm not Xander, but um, uh, Raylan says, you're going to have to kill me during the fight. And so when it comes down to it, though, uh, it seems like it. But part of me was like, this had to be a setup, right? I th I figured, like, he'd probably fake his death because if he fakes his death, then it's like, well, it, all he could just never come back to Lost Venus uh, ever again because, like, they'll find out he's alive. But obviously the way the episode ends with Collins punching his chest, I, I feel like this has to be all part of a play because as long as his dad thinks he's dead, he's not going to come looking after him either, so... This is the only way out of the situation on all fronts. At least that's where I think. I don't think they're going to kill Raylan. I think, I mean, or maybe they pseudo killed him, gave him something to slow down his heart rate to make it seem like he died. And Collins was just kind of playing the role. I, I don't know. I figured because they had that conversation, you would, you know, like I said, I think that's just everyone acting up. But uh, I'm curious to see where all this takes us. I am curious to see if Greg ends up coming back as well, because obviously they've got the cure for the drug. So he might come back, which, like I said, was an interesting turn of events to have him brought back into the fold with all of this. So, And obviously Jet showing himself to be a bit cowardly, but at the same time still reliable at the end of the day, being there for his friend, you know. So I think that's pretty dope. So it's going to be interesting to see where all this ends up taking us going forward into the next episode. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Until the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, look like to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.